This is a diagram that I just finished drawing. It shows on a higher level how the data flows from the data source all the way to the target. Um, so this is a physical machine or a virtual machine where the database is installed. It doesn't have to be a database. It can be a file system. It can be, um, if it's database, it can be SQL Server database. It can be DB2 database. It can be a lot of things. Uh, but in order to send the data out from the server onto cloud, in this case it's Azure, we need to install a integration runtime. Um, it's called uh, something called self-hosted integration runtime. And uh, <clears throat> you need to do it within Azure, but then there's a corresponding uh, piece of software that you need to download when you when you install the self-hosted when you create the self-hosted integration runtime on Azure, uh, you need to download that piece of software and you need to copy the key from Azure to to the software when you install it. That way, a, a communication channel is uh, is set up between between this. Uh, software and the self-hosted integration runtime on Azure. So, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that installation uh, later. <clears throat> in this, uh, yeah, in this video, I'm just trying to show the data flow. So, in, so the data flows from a database through the uh, integration runtime software through the self-hosted integration runtime into a linked service. The, the, the integration runtime is a software that, uh, that can understand a lot of, uh, lot of things within the, the machine, uh, whether it's database or file system or different type of database or uh, different things. Um, but the link service here is to provide the connection information, which includes the account information, um, port number, um, credentials, and everything. And then on top of that is the source data set. The source data set, um, so, so that is the source data set, you basically, uh, you, you can specify which link service you want to use in order to access what, uh, what, let's say in this case, is database like so it would be the table you want to use, or you don't have to specify your table, right? But then in the pipeline itself, this is the pipeline, the Azure Data Factory pipeline. In the pipeline itself, you do re you really need to specify, um, if it's a table, then you need to specify the table. If it's a query, you need to specify the query. Um, so this is the, the pipeline is where the data um, where you actually specify what data you want to pull, how you want to transform the data, and then uh, out of the pipeline, it goes into the destination data set. Uh, in this case, <clears throat> it's Azure Data Lake, so we want to pull, uh, we want to push the CSV file onto Azure Data Lake. So in that, in this case, the data set, the destination data set, uh, within the destination destination data set, you want to specify the uh, the file name, the folder structures, and um, things like that. Uh, for example, um, whether you want to include the, the column names in the first line, first row, uh, things like that. And then we have link service. Link service is the same thing as this that has the connection information to the uh, uh, Azure Data Lake, it has the credentials and everything. And then this is the target, which is the Azure Data Lake in this case. 